Hi guys and welcome back. Today I am working on a very quick little watercolor. So as I mentioned before, I am heading off to convention, but as usual, I left a ton of things till the very end to get ready. So I've been rushing around today trying to get everything finished up, but I needed to get a video done in advance for Saturday. So that is what today is. I did have some line work that I had from a while ago. It was actually for my coloring book project, which I'm still working on, but I did this line work and I do want to take it in a different direction. So ultimately this one won't be in that book, but I figured that today it would be a good chance for me to get a little bit of use out of it. So I actually originally did this in Copics or I tried to at least, uh, but I was feeling very stressed, I guess, because I did have a lot of stuff to do and because Copic markers are not my forte anymore. I was making a lot of mistakes and it's surprising how much feeling nervous or stress can affect the way that I work. So I had to go ahead and scrap that and restart it on watercolor paper with watercolors and it went a lot smoother. But ultimately I did actually end up having to stop on this one and go finish packing and finish working on stuff so I could come back to this and actually focus. But uh, a little bit about this one is, as you can see, as I mentioned, I did the line work digitally. So I needed to print it out. And this was a great chance for me to be able to change the color of the line work. That's something that Again, I've I've struggled with finding the right way to make it happen within my own traditional inking, but right here it was very easy to very quickly switch it over and make it work for what I wanted. I do think that the one thing that I struggle with a bit with um, with colored line work is that it nails me into a certain type of color palette. I can't really change things as much as I would like. I mean, I still have a lot of control over it, but I. Uh, I decided to go ahead and change it to a mostly blue tone. And honestly, that actually was nice. It was nice to have it very set in stone. Beginning off, I knew what my color palette was going to be. I didn't have to really worry too much about figuring it out because if it was all these blues and these cool tones, I would be able to just jump in and start painting it. So that did definitely help. And it was really fun actually to paint on such crisp line work because I also worked on this much larger on Photoshop. So when I printed it out, it only became even more crisp and clean and it was really pleasant, but it actually started showing my, uh, my little issues or mistakes, I guess, with the watercolors. And I feel like it became a lot more apparent than when I'm doing traditionally inked pieces where it feels like the style just kind of cohesively goes together a little bit more, but, but there was that. And then another big issue that I did have with that as well is that because I used a very specific printed color, ultimately I wasn't able to go in and uh, change or add on to the line work that is after I had already finished it. So usually when I do watercolor pieces, I, we'll go back after and clean up the line work and sharpen things up. I hide a little of the mistakes or I didn't get quite up to the line work. So I wasn't really able to do that. There are a few areas that actually now that I finished, I might go back and tweak a little bit, but, but that that's kind of give and take. I got some benefits and there's also always a little bit of a drawback, but but it was, it was fun to work in a different pace. And it was also really fun to be able to just jump in and start watercoloring. There are a lot of times where I feel like painting, but I don't necessarily feel like drawing or figuring out a piece. And this was the one moment where I could actually have some structure behind it and I could just start painting something. Okay, but that I think is about it for me today in this video, the stuff that I have to talk about. I will be back next week and I have a lot of things that I'm really excited about showing you guys and working on new videos. I feel like I've, I'm getting a second wind as far as things that I want to put into the videos and yeah, there's some exciting things coming up. I have Inktober and I have a lot of prep and planning before that, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But anyways, I, I'll be back next week. I do post every Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I'm going to go ahead and let this fade off into some music while I finish up this little piece. I do plan on listing this one when I get back from convention if it doesn't sell there, so keep an eye on the shop if you'd like. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching.